How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ishan and in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the full technical analysis and price target of Palantir stock. Along with that, I'll be breaking down my personal strategy on how to profit off of it as well. So with that being said, if you want to learn technical analysis for yourself and a lot of advanced trading strategies, be sure to check out the Gen Z Trader Academy down below and let's get to it. All right, so jumping into the technicals of Palantir stock on this hourly chart, we can see a few things right off the bat. So first of all, just to recap last week's video, I told you guys clearly how the stock was forming higher highs and higher lows. And essentially right over here as the stock was about to break the support level about the, at about this 24.7 level, I told you guys right over here that the stock needed to break back above 24.7 in order for a move higher to continue. Otherwise, the stock would be heading lower, probably back to this bottom support line. In fact, what ended up happening was we ended up dropping, dropping, dropping. And I told you guys clearly that at these levels of support, the stock needs to form higher highs and higher lows, and it needs to break above the nine EMA, which is the blue line. Guess what happened? We pushed up, we turned the nine EMA into resistance, drop back down, drop back down, drop back down. And so that's why it's so important that when you're watching these videos, you watch them fully through and you really understand what I'm saying. But as always, also make sure you're doing your own due diligence. Now, apart from that, if we take a look at what's been happening, we've now dropped down to at about this 21.5 support level, which was a previous level of support right over here, way back over here. Along with that, we can see how now instead of higher highs and higher lows, we're now forming lower lows and lower highs. In fact, it almost looked like we were forming this falling wedge and falling wedges usually lead to a breakout higher. And in fact, this morning, we actually got a nice little spike. But guess what happened? We turned this previous level of support right over here into resistance and the stock ended up dropping back down. And so that's why it's very important to be mindful of areas of resistance and support before you buy. But along with that, we can see that we've now broken this support level here at 21.5. We're breaking it and this is actually looking pretty bearish because the only level of support below 21.5 is all the way down here at about this $21 level. We had support right over here at 21, support right over here at 21. So I could easily see the stock continue down to 21 before it finds any meaningful support. Now, apart from that, we can see how we got a MACD cross with the red MACD line crossing above the green signal line. Essentially, that signals that the momentum is beginning to shift in favor of the bulls. And even though yet again, now it's crossing below the signal line, I still think, you know, considering how old oversold the stock is considering how the RSI is also dropped down pretty low to about 30. The stock is pretty oversold and I, and I, and I expect that at this $21 level, we probably get a short term bounce just because this is a quite major level of support. As you can see, it's been a major level of support for a while now. Even if I zoom further back out, we can see that all the way back over here, guess what? $21 right over here, 21, 21. So this $21 level is going to be a crucial level of support. So I could really see buyers begin to really step up heavily to maintain this level. And apart from that, if we go to the daily chart, we can just see that it's just been multiple down, 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 down days. We've been turning the nine EMA, which is the blue line into resistance on the daily chart as well. The reason the nine EMA is so powerful is because when a stock is above it and holding it as support, the trend is in favor of the bulls. The moment it breaks below it and turns it into resistance, the trend is in favor of the bears. So until we can get a definitive break above the nine EMA on the daily chart, because the daily chart basically shows you more longer term trends. So if you get a break above the daily chart, only then will the longer term trend shift in favor of the bulls. Now, one bearish thing I kind of see is that it looks like we're almost forming a double top. Like, as we can see, this is a pretty common double top pattern. We got our first top over here. We got our second top and boom, we ended up dropping lower. That's our double top. And similarly, if we take a look at what's been happening recently, exact same thing. We got our initial push up, boom, came back down, got our second push up, basically our double top before we end up dropping lower. 
So that's why I'm telling you that this $21 level is going to be crucial that we hold because if we break below $21, then the stock could be dropping quite a bit lower like we saw similarly right over here. So now that you're getting a rough understanding of the technicals, let me break down my price target and my exact strategies to profit. So right off the bat, if we break below $21, I could see the stock dropping all the way down here to about this right here at about 1770. We had a previous level of support right over here and it was somewhat of a previous level of resistance right over here. So 1770 is looking like the next level of support, which would equal about, you know, probably looking like about, you know, 15 to 20% move lower. Now, if we can manage to break back above 2150, then there's potential that we might continue forming higher highs and higher lows and, you know, kind of trying to reverse this trend. So what what I'll be looking for, as, I'll, as I always say, is that the stock needs to break above these levels of support and it needs to form higher highs and higher lows and break above the 9 EMA. As we can see, 9 EMA has been acting as resistance. Until we break above the 9 EMA, guys, the trend direction will not change. And that's why I've always been saying that it's such a crucial indicator. But that's only the first part. I then need to wait for the stock to break above 21.96 and I will be waiting. We had resistance right over here. So you can expect if we get a bounce, boom, we'll face immediate resistance at this level. And only once we break above 21.96, will I take an initial small, you know, swing trading position. Then once we break above these highs over here at about this 22.3 level, then only would I consider taking a much larger position. Because as we can see, Right now, this is the most recent high. Only until we can form a new higher high, only then will that indicate that buyers are trying to reverse the trend direction. Because, you know, right now we're forming lower lows and lower highs, lower lows and lower highs. So what we want to see for a bullish reversal is to form higher highs and higher lows. If we break above 22.3, then first level of resistance will obviously be up here at 22.8. 22.8 was a previous level of support, which actually turned into resistance right over here. So that's going to be a strong level of resistance because sellers don't want buyers to break above and reclaim that support level and push higher. They don't want buyers to reclaim the support level. So that's going to be a strong level of resistance. But if we can manage to break above that, I can easily see the stock heading up here to 23.75 which again was a previous level of support where sellers will step up aggressively. So those are the key levels to watch guys. And again, this $21 level is going to be crucial. The stock holds, but overall, I think things are looking bullish because you know, it's a crucial level of support. The stock is oversold. So it's very likely that buyers and investors begin stepping up. So that's the video guys. If you want to learn technical analysis for yourself and a lot more advanced strategies than what I discussed here, be sure to check out the Gen Z Trader Academy me down below so that you can become more profitable with technical analysis and make better entry and exit decisions. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy, clocking out for now. Peace.